Hey everyone, uh, Steve again with another Unity Asset review. Uh, we're actually doing something a little different today. It's actually going to be two reviews. Um, and it's also going to be different in the fact that I've traditionally done a lot of environmental asset reviews. And today we are doing a couple of prop asset reviews. So specifically, we're going to be doing the Sci-Fi Gun, sorry, Sci-Fi Pack Gun, Volume 1 and Volume 2 by the developer Dennis Darabin or Darabin, Darabin. I, if I'm mispronouncing that, I am really, really sorry. Uh, both of these packs uh, retail for 120 USD each. And I'm just going to go over the real quick, um, real quick uh, uh, rating that I gave it um, while I'm sort of diving into while well, I'm sort of doing like a hero shot over each one. Um, so the quality on them, I gave, I gave a pass for. I think the quality on these is incredible, and we'll dive into that in a little bit when we go into each one of them in the, uh, in the uh, prefab viewer. Um, however, the modularity and workability rating that I typically give um, that I had to fail them on. And, uh, that's, well, we'll get into why that is when we go into the prefab viewer as well. Um, the serviceability, I gave them, I essentially gave them a pass on. Um, and I haven't reached out to the developer personally for anything, but having said that, um, the developer does seem to be fairly active when it comes to uh, the communities that they have and, and stuff like that. And their personal email is up as a service email. So I, I passed them on that. I did give them uh, a good grade on that one. Um, the uh, value, however, I failed them on. And we'll talk about why that is when we dive into uh, each one of the prefabs here. So this, the one I just did a hero shot of, hero, like flyover of, that was volume two. We're going to go back to volume one here. So each one of these package, packages, each one of these packs has 10 guns in it. So you're paying 120 bucks for 10 guns. Um, so let's dive into the actual asset, uh, or the, the prefab viewer rather. So if you look at it, the details on these, and this isn't the best solution or the best one to, to analyze, but um, the details on these, let's see, this one, yeah, this one's a little better. So the details on these are actually pretty good. There's good texturing. There's, you know, good texturing with all sorts of different, you know, hoses and components of it. There's battle damage you know, so the scrapes and stuff like that. Um, the design of the guns, in my opinion, are really good. Um, I'm a sci-fi junkie, for those who don't know. Like, I love science fiction. Uh, I've been consuming it since literally I was born, and there's a long story behind that I won't go into now. But um, as far as sci-fi guns are concerned, these are really good design in my opinion where the modularity failed and this is a pretty big oversight in my opinion which then is the reason i failed the value as well is so like this gun for example this should be a magazine well it, if you look in the hierarchy it's all one mesh right so you can't do stuff like having a reload animation with it which ultimately defeats the purpose of using this in uh, any kind of production for at least the player's gun. Um, but like, but the design of these and the, the, the quality and stuff is really good. It's just uh, for, you know, the guns that, so like this one, for example, that drum is very clearly supposed to be a magazine. It's not removable. On top of that, things like this, like the laser sight attachment elements are also not removable. And this will become even more apparent when we get into some of the other guns in, I think, volume two. 
Um, but like, you know, certain details were really well attended to. Um, but here again, so this one's that's supposed to be a magazine. It's all one mesh. It's supposed to be a suppressor, all one mesh, right? Um, even the attachments up here, like the hollow, you know, that ideally would be a separate modularized uh, asset, but it is not. Um, magazine here, not detachable. But the guns themselves are, are cool looking, you know? And the detail on the on the actual gun is 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 good. It's high. Um, even stuff like that, where there's there's like a pass through. There's there's a rail system, right? And then there's a pass through where you can see to the other side. Stuff like that is good attention to detail. Stuff like this, where the laser pointer is coming out there, but it's emitting from back here, from right there. Like those are those are pretty slick you know, slick designs, but the gun itself just isn't modularized. So this too, this isn't as big of a deal, but you'll notice there's no way to see through the scope. Now, the way you fix that is you just have a dual camera system for zooming in and from a first person viewpoint or a third person viewpoint for that matter. Um, if you're, if it's a game like, uh, Tom Clancy Ghost Recon, where it's third person, but then when you snap into fine aim, it goes into first person. The way that you do that is you have like a dual camera system, especially in first person, that's more important. And then that fact that there's no pass through on the scope doesn't matter. But, um, but having said that, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> there's a lot of attention to detail until you get to arguably the most important attention to detail, which is the fact that you can't set up a reload animation with this. It just doesn't, it just doesn't work. Um, so I'm gonna hop into volume two here. We're gonna take a, a deeper look at the prefabs in volume two because this becomes even more apparent with some of these. But um, so that drum, I'm assuming is supposed to be some sort of plasma container, like a reload, but you can't reload. There's nothing to really reload there, right? Because it doesn't remove. Um, so this one, there's a like a hollow, you know, site, and then a scoped site, but then there's no pass through on that. Um, you know, this is supposed to be a magazine. It's not removable. Just the 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 lack of modularization really really is disappointing in this and it despite the fact that the guns are fairly creative um it it, it just doesn't it just doesn't uh it doesn't take it all the way like it should right yeah, that's really where we sit there um this again that's supposed to be a drum or, uh, you know, and uh, a drum magazine, you know. Um, actually, I can do this. But you can do, you know, you can you can set up irons pretty well with these, right? So they're, I mean, I don't know. Like, if 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 the developer of this asset happens across this video, <laughs> and if they want to take, uh, you know, some pointers from a game developer, um, specifically a designer, <laughs> um, I would suggest making making your, I, well, one of two things, uh, either a making your asset modular. So, you know, not just, let's go back to this one, not just the magazine, 
but also making the attachments, the sights modular, the foregrip here modular, right? Uh, the barrel, the extended barrel on guns that have suppressor looking devices. So like this one, making the suppressor modularized, making the laser sights modularized, you know, again, like, like doing those. And then on top of that, for this one specifically, because you had the attention to detail for this, for the swivel, the actual pivot uh, point, and you even thought, thought it through with the design of the stock, how if it were to pivot, how it would have to fit there, make that pivotable, you know, may, or just make it modular, you know, um, like, so either do that or provide your source files. There's a lot of higher priced assets out there that do that. And for 120 bucks, um, and this is why I don't think the value is there. For 120 bucks, they should either be modularized so I can do a reload animation at the bare minimum, um, or you should provide the source files. But 120 bucks for 10 gun for for 10 gun models that is a lot. And yes, there is good quality to the actual model itself, but without the other things, without the, again, without at the bare minimum, the magazine being removable, I can't use it. It's unusable from a designer standpoint, from a production standpoint. Um, so if you're listening, Dennis, uh, that's what I would suggest. I would suggest either revisiting it and making them more modularized at minimum, making the magazine removable um, or provide source. Uh, cause I, I, at, at, at the price it is right now, um, for what you get, I, I do not think the value is even remotely there. If it were significantly less then I'd say sure. But for that price, I mean, you're getting, if you buy both packs, you're, 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 you're getting into the, the chamfer zone area, which is actual triple A quality guns, like actual triple A quality gun models. Um, the, his, his or there, I don't know, but that complete pack is 400 bucks and, uh, you get more guns than t you get more than 20 guns. They're all triple A quality modularized the whole nine yards. Um, this for the, the two packs, you're looking at 240 bucks, not including tax. I, I do not think that it is that the value is there. If that simple modularization just is not present. So take it for what you will. Um, that's my opinion on it. Uh, if you do buy it, you know, use the link in the, use my link in the, in the description. Um, cause I get a percentage as always. Um, and honestly, if the developer sees this and if they make those adjustments, I will update my review. Like I, I will change, I will change those parts of the review because I, I believe in encouraging that sort of thing. Um, but as it stands right now, I think they are, both packs are overpriced for what you actually get. So uh, if I'm wrong, hey, I'm wrong. You know, if you have the pack and you disagree with me, let me know in the comments why. And uh, yeah, otherwise I will see everyone in the next one.